Hi, my beautiful warriors. How are you today? I hope you all are doing fabulous. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you have reached Coffee Talk with Mobility Mom. I am Rebecca, aka the Mobility Mom, and this is my channel, and I am so blessed and grateful to have you here today. Um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video goes up. And if you are a returning warrior, welcome back. Welcome back to my home, to my channel. Um, I hope all is well with you. Um, I'm ready to jump in and talk with you guys. I hope you're here to talk and have a nice conversation. So let's get started. So happy to have you all back. Um, as you can see, we are actually standing in my closet today. <laughs> um, I needed somewhere where the light was pretty decent and where I could stand up for a little bit because um, I was having some issues with my knees and lower back and I needed somewhere to kind of stand up and have a little room to stretch and move. So I chose the closet <laughs> of all places. The good news is, is I did clean it this weekend. So it's a little bit neater than if you had seen it a few days ago. Um, so let's get started on today's topic. And I, I don't know if it's really a topic. Um, it's just some stuff that's been going on in my life this last couple weeks. And I kind of wanted to get your thoughts and your opinions on it. Um, these past couple weeks have been really chaotic over here on my end. Um, uh, as most of you might have known from some pretty previous videos or whatever, I have been on a self-healing journey these last couple years since, well, probably since the pandemic hit. Um, when the pandemic hit and the world closed down and I was kind of isolated for a while, uh, it allowed me to do some inner work, uh, things that I had sort of been avoiding because I was able to keep busy and keep um, sort of running from them. Uh, but when the pandemic hit, I had to face some of those things. And one of the things was, was that I was a people pleaser. Yes, I'm a recovering people pleaser. I admit it. I said it. <laughs> um, and basically, that means that I get very nervous and anxious when everybody around me is not happy and I will do whatever I need to do to make that. And for many years, that meant that I would change my plans for other people. Um, I would babysit when I was exhausted and really couldn't do it because I didn't want to tell people no. Um, I would go out of my way to do stuff for other people. I couldn't tell people no because I wanted them to be happy and I couldn't tell them no. And, um, over the time of becoming a recovering people pleaser, I realized that my inner peace and my joy was just as important as other people. And so this past couple weeks ago, I called a family member out on some bad behavior. And when I did that, they got very offended and they began a lot of drama and they became the victim. Um, they started to put stuff on social media, which is I'm highly against. If you have a problem with somebody, family, friend, whatever, don't go to social media and play your drama out on social media. Take it up to the person. Be an adult and talk to that person. Um, in this case, my, my family member's um, baby mama decided to take personal business and splatter it all over Facebook. And they got their facts wrong. They accused... Um, my parents of abuse, essentially abuse and neglect, and my parents have never done that. I mean, I'm not saying my parents are perfect, because no parents are, but they've never neglected any of us children per se. They've always gone out of their way to take care of us, and I took a little offense to that, and so I called them out on his, on their drama and all that, and I set up some boundaries and told them I, that they couldn't be around me if they were going to bring all this negativity and all this drama, because I had worked really hard to get to the point where I was not stressing about everything and I wasn't trying to please everybody and um of course they went into victim mode and I also should say that this is my side of the story um as my grandmother always told us there's a three sides to every story your side their side and the real side so this is just my personal opinion and on my side of the whole story um but I did set up those boundaries and I basically told this family member that they couldn't be around me anymore if they were going to cause this kind of drama, bring this negative, um, 
spout these kind of lies on social media when they were not true. And of course they got all in an uproar and all this stuff. And I told them if they wanted to continue to play the victim, that was their choice. I couldn't control their thoughts, their words, or their actions. And if they wanted to play the victim, that was their choice. I wasn't going to do that. And I wasn't going to feed into their um, drama and their negativity. Um, it got, you know, which kind of spiraled out a little bit. And um, to be perfectly honest, it was my little brother. And... Um, as a retaliation, he has forbidden my mom to see the grandchildren. And I thought that was kind of childish because my thing is if you have taken an issue with me and you're telling me I'm causing the drama and we've talked it out, you have no right to take your um, emotions out on another family member who had nothing to do with it. Um, but that is what he was doing. The funny part in all of this is that in my journey of self-healing and self-discovery and learning thing was that in the past, if I had said something like that and caught and all this chaos had started, I would have gone into meltdown mode and I would have started doing what I had to do to make that other person happy. What I have found in the last few weeks is that it hasn't bothered me. In fact, my level of peace and inner joy and inner peace has tripled tenfolds. I don't get so anxious or stressed when I think about them coming over and bringing all the kids and all the stress and all the drama and all the chaos that they bring to my home when they come. I've kind of realized that I was allowing them to interrupt my peace. And by setting that boundary, I have found my inner peace again. And it doesn't bother me as much. And as somebody who has a chronic illness, I have a really hard time sometimes asking for help. Um, but at the same time, I have a hard time of imposing on other people. And I realized um, in all of this that, you know, I don't ask for help unless I absolutely need the help. And so I'm not sort of the source of the reason why, quote unquote, um, he can't spend time with our mother or anything because I take up too much time because I don't. Um, but he also kind of made this comment that we don't ever check on him or anything. And that's, that's also not true. We text him all the time. He just doesn't reply to our texts. And as far as my health is concerned, I have never allowed my health to take away from anything that he needed. Um, in fact, I would go without out if it meant that he needed something done. And so I've kind of realized that setting up my boundaries the way I did has made me feel so much more at peace, which is kind of bringing me to the question I wanted to ask you guys as a community and as a chronic illness warrior community. Um, do you find that you, um, with your chronic illness that you find it easy to set boundaries and know when to ask for help and when not to? And do you find that setting boundaries give you, gives you peace and helps you, your peace of mind and bring you peace or are you one of these people that will turn yourself inside out to please others um, I'm kind of curious and if you do set boundaries what kind of self-care do you do um, I would love some ideas from you guys as to ways that I could do you know to help with my inner peace and do uh, things that are good for me um, because I would love to hear if you are that type of person who sets boundaries against negative people and drama. And if so, you know, kind of what you do to help foster that self-healing and that inner peace and just have time for self-care and what you do for self-care. Um, so that's my question to you. What do you guys do? Um, how do you handle like day-to-day -day and negativity and when people are trying to put their negativity and their drama on you? How do you sort of cleanse the air around you to get rid of that and stuff. I would love to hear your ideas. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you all are doing everything you can to stay healthy, getting rest, drinking your water, taking your medicine, doing your therapy, everything you need to do that makes you a better person and makes you make it through each day with your illness. And uh, I would love to hear from you. So please drop a comment in the down there in the box. Let me know what you do for self-care. And uh, we'll talk again soon. All right. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. Have a blessed one.